So I have a card trick for you today. Not only do I have the card trick, I'll also teach you how it's done after the trick, just to give you a little idea of the concept and what you can do with this move. So uh, we'll take a deck of cards, we give them a little shuffle, mix them up. Um, now, if you had a participant or a spectator, whatever you call it, you can have them shuffle the cards. Once you receive them back, I'm just going to ripple down the side of the deck and ask you to say stop. So say you say stop there, and we'll just take out this card, and we have gone for the Ace of Diamonds. Now, I've got a pen here, so we're going to take the Ace of Diamonds and sign it, so we know it's the only one in the deck. Give that a little sign like that. You can see that there. Now, we will just lose that Ace about halfway down in the deck, and you can see that going in there halfway now. Now, what we do is we'll just leave the cards there. And we'll just recap. So shuffle the cards, riffle down the side, you called stop. We selected a card at the centre of the deck and we signed it. Now, there's only one signed card in this deck. And as it slowly rises up and up and up, it's now on the top of that deck. Now I know you probably don't believe that, so I'll show you. As you can see, the signed Ace of Diamonds is on the top of that deck. And you can hand these cards out to the spectator. They feel free to look through it. They will not find another card like it signed because there was only one. Now, I will teach you how to do this. It's a very simple move. Um, we don't need that at the moment. Um, we won't use a pen for this. I don't want to ruin any more cards. Now, what you do is you take the deck, you give it to them, or you do this. You can shuffle the deck. It honestly doesn't matter. Just have it mixed up. It's better if the participant shuffles it because then it gives it a more meaning to the trick. If you're handling it all the time, then they're going to think something's going on, but it generally isn't. They can shuffle the deck. Now, to ripple down the side of the deck, you want to hold the deck in dealer's grip, but curl this index finger underneath the deck, like so. And then with the tip of your thumb, you just want to riffle off on the corner, card singly. Now, it takes a little bit of practice sometimes, but most people can do this naturally. It's quite easy to do, just riffle the cards. And then you just want to time it with their stop. They can stop literally anywhere. They can say stop here. They can keep going and say stop there. It honestly doesn't matter because you're going to get what is called a centre double lift. Now, I'll come up closer to this so you can see. So you want to... So say they say stop here, with the index finger of this hand, you want to put your finger over the top of the cards there and riffle off one, two cards, and then pull it sideways out of the deck. You can show like this, but I like to take it out and place it sort of on the top, but still holding it. So it's like this, and you can show them that card. They can then, you can hold this like that, and they can then take the pen and sign their card because you're keeping this all squared up together so they're not going to see the other card that's underneath. So they've signed the eight of spades. You then keep the pressure on and just turn it over like you would a normal double lift down onto the top. You can then swing cut the deck, but don't swing it over. Keep this packet in your bottom hand and you're going to peel off the top card, which is indifferent. It's not their eight. Their eight's un actually underneath it. So peel off the indifferent card. Their eight's still on this top packet here, which is going to remain the top packet. Don't flash up like that. Keep it face down. So you've peeled off the top card with the indifferent card, place this packet on the top, and then they can square, you could ask them, invite them to square it in, and lose the card in there. Now, you can take this a step further, and you can take the cards back off them if they've pushed the card in, and give it a ripple shuffle, and maintain the top stop, so that their card still stays on the top, to make it even fairer. But just for simple, uh, simple ways to do it, you can just do the centre double, have them sign it, and then swing cut, slide it into the middle, and then just have it raised to the top like I did, using the box as like a little stage to bring it to attention. And then say it's on the top, you can have them turn over the card and reveal that it's their signed card, then invite them to look through the deck, and they'll see all the cards are different. Now this is a great trick, you can use the centre double lift for many different tricks, but that's just an example of one, I'm sure now that you've seen this, you could probably think of other ways you can incorporate this into your magic routines. It's a great trick, so I'll go over it one more time. Dealer's grip, but hold, uh, curl your middle finger underneath and hold it with the top of your thumb. Riffle down, they say stop. Come over with your index finger, one, two, riffled off. Twist them out to the side. You can hold them like this. You can bring them over here and hold it together like that. You could even just drop it straight on top of the deck once you've taken it out. So we do a center, center double, bring that round. You can just drop that straight on top of the deck, have them sign it, and then do a double lift if you're practicing and working on your double lifts. But that tends to be for more advanced people who can do the double lift naturally all the time. You want to practice that first and then just drop the cards on the top. But I suggest riffle enough too and then just holding them for support because then it keeps them all square and looks like one single card. Now, this will take a couple of goes to get. So just keep practicing the riffle and pinging off two cards every time. 
I'll go through that again up close so you can see what happens. This finger comes over and then your thumb just lets one, two cards go. And then you just slowly peel it round. They stay together quite well to be fair. And as long as you're supporting it and holding it quite tight like this, like you're putting pressure with your thumb and the finger here, this one at the top just keeps it all square and it just still looks like one card. And then you can go into it, lose their card in the middle, which so they think, and it's actually on the top. Now, take as you wish from this and practice it, do what you like, and be sure to keep practicing it because it's a great move to use. Uh, leave a comment down below what you want to see next week. Be sure to subscribe and like this video, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you liked it, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. It really helps. Cheers. Um, just a quick one. If you're into gaming and you like watching gaming, I stream on Twitch every night at 7pm uh, English time. I don't know what that is to you, but I'm sure you could work it out. Um, Twitch.tv forward slash BigWith. I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to come and watch. Um, I've also got an Instagram page, which is Big With Clips. I'll leave that down below if you want to see any of the clips from the games that we have. Um, I normally play Call of Duty, uh, the Modern Warfare and Warzone. I play that quite a lot. I play Forza Horizon 4, Fortnite. Um, Watch Dogs Legion, stuff like that. I'm just with a few mates and we just stream it live on Twitch every night at 7, like I said. If you want to watch that and you want to check that out, you can follow me on there on uh, the Twitch and you can follow me on the Instagram if you want to keep up to date with everything. I'd really appreciate that if you could and just share it around and get people watching. Cheers.